Hey, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, the steamroller was my favorite piece of construction equipment. I'd love to watch them working on projects, just rolling over the blacktop and smoke and vapor pulling up. So I'm excited that today we're going to cover the steamroller here on Steam Culture. So I eventually learned that the steam and steamroller comes from the engine. And I did some homework online and I found out that the steamroller was first commercially developed in the late 1860s by an English company called Averling and Porter. And then a US company called the Buffalo Springfield Company got on board and started mass producing these. Now they were mass producing these because we're building a lot of roadways with the expansion of the highway system and just our road systems in general. Now before the steamroller, we were pulling these metal drums with uh, teams of horses and oxen. And of course that limited the amount of work we could do. So here comes the steamroller. And now you've got a lot of scale. You can do a lot of what's called compaction and smoothing of the roadways. Now the steamroller was a, a staple until about the 1950s when the diesel powered roller came over. And then uh, the fleet sort of reduced and pretty much went away to nothing. But the name is iconic. Uh, we use steamroller in a lot of terms. We're going to talk about something being powerful or taking something over. We're going to go in and steamroll them. So you, maybe you've used that term too. So I have enjoyed having you here. I really enjoyed learning about the steamroller, which is a big part of our American history. Join me here next Friday. Uh, join me at steamculture at wearing.com where you can send me questions and ideas. And find us on social media because we're like everywhere. So I'll see you next Friday. Hey guys, hope you've been enjoying the Steam Culture episodes. We're going to be at Asheray January 24th through the 27th in Orlando. Would love for you guys to stop by and say hi.